Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting live stream. Today's fan poll voted for read the dictionary, but didn't specify what dictionary to read. So, today on the stream, I will be reading Urban Dictionary. Ooh. So I hope you guys are excited for some Urban Dictionary readings. Let me take one moment to get the live chat up so that I can communicate with all of you during the live stream. If you guys have any words, that you'd specifically like me to look up in an Urban Dictionary, feel free to do so uh, by just mentioning them to me in the live chat. I'll be more than happy to look them up and read the definitions. I hope everyone's having a happy Halloween so far. Um, on this fine Hallow's Eve, I don't have a lab today, which is nice. Um, I'm actually going to be working on a different lab when I would normally be going to lab. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for the live chat to load. There we go. So the live chat is now loaded up on my computer, so I'll be able to see what you guys are saying in the live chat while I read Urban Dictionary. So let's jump right in. A uh, haunting, a variation of ghosting in which the ghoster continues indirect contact with the ghosted by liking and faving his or her social media content. Example. I was an emotional wreck when Ken ghosted me because I thought we had something special, but now he's haunting me every time I see he's rewatched my snaps. Uh, that's not what I would have expected. Uh, so right now on trending, I didn't even know Urban Dictionary had a trending. Uh, they have yeet my skeet, typically used as an insult analogous to go fuck yourself. It can be used in many ways, but most are from one man to another. Yeet my skeet. I've never heard that before. It's that time of the month. When you realize Brave Bird woke wait, what? When you realize Brave Bird broke up and you feel sad and you need to listen to maybe you no one else is worth it. What the fuck? I need to read that one. I don't understand. I would have assumed it would have been like a period thing. Really? That's that's the top definition. When you realize Brave Bird, so what's Brave Bird? When you're having sex with your girl in a really nice hotel, and when you come, you throw her off the balcony into the pool. What? <laughs> when you realize that you threw a girl off the balcony into the pool when you came, broke up, and you feel sad, and you need to listen to maybe you know, not to be confused with you know, this is a command to be followed by a period, often used in debates to interrupt someone mid sentence. Huh, interesting. I, I, I don't think I've ever used you know in that way. One else worth it, worth it. Usually used to describe an event where bad things happened, but the end result was positive, used as a standalone phrase. Okay, this is so far so I've been learning a lot. You, oh God. It's that time of the month. Friend, why, what happened? You, I just remembered Brave Bird broke up. Broke up when you and your best friend have an insurmountable difference in your friendship and you have to break up with your best bro. So, when you're having sex with your girl in a really nice hotel and you come and throw her off the balcony into the pool, which causes your friendship to break up, so you need to listen to a song that interrupts an argument maybe between you and your friend, but in the end it's worth it. Like, I don't, I don't fully understand that shit. That, is, that was a hard like meta meme on Urban Dictionary. That was, I didn't know the memes got that serious. That's crazy. Okay. So Simple Jack, let's look at Simple Jack if Urban Dictionary would load. While we're waiting for it to load, let's look at weird flex, but okay. Used in reply to something odd or weird that you wouldn't agree with or understand, but go with anyways. Someone, Mindy and I like doing it when it's that time of the month for her, because I think it's low key sexy, you know? Me, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> People need to stop using it's that time of the month in their fucking definition because it's getting weird. Because <laughs> I don't know if that example is supposed to actually be like 
me and Mindy do it while she's on her period, or if the example's supposed to be <laughs> me and Mindy like doing it <laughs> when you come in a hotel balcony and you throw her off a pool, because that would definitely be a nice weird flex, but okay moment. <laughs> weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Gosh, wangin'. Financial high volatility in price movements, highly unpredictable market movements. I just imagine somebody at the New York Stock Exchange going like, it's wanging, it's wanging. I, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Biddle, uh, to get royally dicked over by your friends, to Biddle. Matt's been Biddled a few times in Mario Party. Uh, Ragdollin, let's see, during sexual intercourse, Penetrating the recipient with such vigor and speed, they lose all muscular and ligament control. Thus, ragdoll. <laughs> um, I imagine that people get ragdolled a lot when it's that time of the month. <laughs> what a fucking chain of words. Your boy Ryan, I believe, has arrived, so I've stood up. Yo, Jay, okay. It's gone from an abnormal number of wasps to a suspicious number of wasps. The wasps appear to be in pairs, so I think it's wasp mating season. Uh, Cause they're all like on surfaces. Like I was in the parking lot, they're on cars, they're on the sidewalk, although the sidewalk ones were like both dying cause they probably been stepped on. Uh, there were a bunch of ones on any of like the, a bunch of the like signs as you walk by, there's like wasps. I was walking by uh, towards this, uh, in front of kind of like where the sorority house area is, there's like a bunch of black pieces of like paper on the ground, like crumbled paper. And like every single one just had a wasp on it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm positive that they're all like doing like a mating season day right now. There's strong evidence and that there's a shit ton of wasps and they're in pairs and they seem to be chasing each other around. We need to confirm this, Jay. Confirm. <laughs> we need to confirm. Not right now. Because today we're reading Urban Dictionary. <sighs> Urban Dictionary. That's Urban not dictionary. a dictionary. It is indeed a dictionary. It's not a dictionary. Do you know what to burn the donut is? Do you know what to beat the devil's wife is? A sun shower. Oh, you did? You actually told me that, like, last week? Yeah. To burn the donut. Wait. Jet Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I think Siri was, like, listening, and it's like, oh, yeah, you want, you want to know about Urban Dictionary? <laughs> uh, let me pull up that link. To burn the donut. To engage in male homosexual anal activity. Oh, the donut being male ass. Being male ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's anal. <laughs> Hold on a second. What? We're going to define a word. Okay. I'm going to pull the shit in. Being male assed. <laughs> uh, that might come over like donkeys or some shit. To have. Hmm. But, but it's not even what I said. It's like male ass. Hmm. To have one's anus penetrated by another man. I want to use to burn. Smoke. I want to use to burn the donut in the definition. Like it's it's you receiving yeah. to burn the donut. But I don't know how to say that. Oh, I mean, what if what if you say one is burned by the donut? That doesn't make sense. To burn the donut. To be burned. Of. Uh, when one's donut is burned. <laughs> C to burn the donut. When one's donut is burned. Okay, let's see. It's not useless. <laughs> <laughs> Example. Male ass is like a, a bad it's not even like a good sounding term. Like to stop. Abort. Nope, this too. You, you don't need like just go to to burn the donut and like write some sentences about people getting their donut burned. But like, don't create like a separate term. That doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Stop. 
Just talk, just talk. Who would talk to Papa Smurf? It's when one's donut is burned. Hmm. I need a solid example. Because you essentially no, 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 redefined no, no, no. it as Don't. being male. I didn't redefine anything. No, I was trying no, to like use it in a it. sentence. Mm -hmm. But I failed. That doesn't make a, a new definitions of words and such. No, nope, too late. This is exactly how our Stop dictionary works. No. <laughs> Who can say when the wind blows? I don't know if that's it. Yeah. It's I hope you have water today. I hope you have water, water today. That's an interesting thing to say before you take a shit. Well, I hope you think. Go number one. Papa Smurf. Brainy Smurf with me and male ass. Ass last night. And then Grumpy Smurf can be like, by who? Papa Smurf. By me. So, when one's donut is burned, let's see. Brainy Smurf is being male assed. When one's donut is burned, is that like an adjective describing one's donut? I guess so. Brainy Smurf's donut is being male assed. By who? So then he would say, Who burned his donut? Me. There we go. This is so gross. This already doesn't feel right. Okay. To burn the Donut, homosexual, anal, activity, smurf, let's see, being, male, ass. Don't name your friends, write for a large audience. Then you hit the submit button. All right. I've never done this before. This is interesting. Oh, you got to sign in? What? To what? Urban Dictionary. Yeah, if you want to edit it, probably you'd have to have like an account and shit like that, I imagine. That's how like all that shit works. Like Wikipedia. Ugh. Which I, I think, in terms of people talking about how terrible it is, I think only like, it was like less than a million people like have Wikipedia accounts. Mm. I think it's the number that's so like maybe 600,000, like half a million or so. So like, yeah, you can, uh, that's still a shit ton of people, but like uh, a large portion of that will, on any kind of popular page, rectify any changes. You know, because they have change history logs, so you can just revert back. Right. As soon as you discover the thing. And if it becomes a problem, you can have various levels of lock protections on Wikipedia. Bill sexual means you're gay for Billy Eilish. Don't know who that is. I think what would be worse would be like um, citing sources that are bad or something. Mm. You know, but they have standards and rules. SQ doesn't have status quo warrior. The opposite of an SJW and SQW goes about anything that relates to any sort of activism and calls everyone out on. And then well, the first thing is SJWs aren't like an actual thing. Not really. See. SQW mm -hmm. would just be a contrarian. That's just like a normal 
conservative pundit type. Mm. Like calls everyone out on being an SJW. If SJWs a, aren't like a thing. If there's a YouTube video of someone transgender, there's going to be several dozens of people, almost always men, criticizing the original poster and the commenters for being atypical. If someone dresses or behaves differently, i.e. a man wearing makeup or a girl dyeing their hair, as QWs will consider them to be an SJW or a Tumblrina for no discernible reason. Commenter, can all the SQWs shut the fuck up about being transgender? It has nothing to do with the video. Huh. So this is one of the trending terms on here, which is interesting. And this will define the future of slang, Ryan. This is not. Um, you missed when I was learning about um that time of the month. I heard something about that time of the month, like when I was walking up on like speaking in the back. Wasps. <laughs> Wasps. Yeah. Um this charge it's charging, but it's like drop that. It's that time of the month is an urban dictionary term that's made up of multiple urban dictionary terms. So to understand it, you have to like read a whole bunch of other ones and it's really confusing. Yeah. Um, but it's like second and like trending. So I don't know. And people are using it in other definitions, which is making it worse. <laughs> yeah. It's a meme chimera. This is, this is why you don't look at urban dictionary, Jen. Let's you see. when someone makes like a slang thing, you go and find out what they're saying, like decode it. But you don't go crawl into that shit. It's dangerous. Eating a sandwich. The how I met your mother euphemism for smoking weed used to censor the act so that Ted can safely tell his kids. Interesting. White splain. The act of a Caucasian person explaining to audiences of color the true nature of racism. A Caucasian person explaining. Hey, Jet, I want me to tell you about uh, racism? <laughs> um, emo. Why, how is, is that trending like now? Genre? How is the trending? More? Is it, I mean, think about like YouTube trending. A bunch of those are like actually, yeah, it's getting millions of views. Other times it's just like, oh, it's a TV sh talk show guy or like a movie trailer. But then if you scroll down enough, it's like, they're, I don't even know how they pick the videos on there. Because they'll be like, it's got like, you know, 30, 40,000 views. I'm like, that's not popular in YouTube standards. It hasn't even hit like six digits. Maybe it's like rapidly growing, but I don't know. some of those are pretty odd. Emo, genre of softcore punk music that integrates unenthusiastic, melodramatic 17 year olds who don't smile and high pitch overwrought lyrics. Moving night. The name for October 30th used in Baltimore to describe Mischief Eve or Devil's Night. Okay, I I'm more interested. Let's see. Moving night was typically the night of the year when kids would go around toilet papering houses, throwing eggs, and generally causing mischief. Kids would often stock up well ahead of time because October because on October 30th, stores ID for purchases of eggs, toilet paper, or shaving cream. Interesting. Um, example, we're going to go out on moving night and throw rotten eggs at our teacher's houses. So is that when they're doing the, as opposed to how, like, have they separated the two? Essentially, uh, based because on the, how this works. the whole trick, trick or, or treat. treat. Yeah, it'd be like, you give us candy, otherwise we'll like come back and do the egg thing, or even just like have like a, a thing like over there, like yeah. in our backpacks. Thank you right now. It seems like moving night exists in order for you to get around things that stop you from tricking. Yeah, it's like we need to like stock up on the eggs, but they're going to be watching, so we need to do it like a few days early, you know, like a week early or some shit. It makes sense, I guess. And then it allows you to catch them the day before they would like expect you to be doing anything, and then come back the next day and like still get candy from them. Like you it's could like, like. Like, I'm just going to egg someone I don't like. And then pretend that wasn't me. I'm just gonna be a king. Right. I guess that also. That's weird. That is weird. Is it it's just called Baltimore that does that? <laughs> what? Is it just a Baltimore thing? Uh, Let's see. Matt Knight. What people in the West Island call Devil's Night, the night before Halloween. 
It's got its name because people steal doormats. <laughs> so this is a West Island version of the other one. Um, it got its name because people steal doormats and do uh, switcheroos. It is also the night people go out TPing trees and other mischief is caused. I woke up this morning after mat night and my doormat was missing. I found it the next week, three blocks down. So three blocks down. Because we don't live on the West Coast or in Baltimore, we, we don't. Wait, do they do it on the West Coast too? So the West Coast does mat night where you steal doormats and shit. Oh, nope, oh, it's a lot more petty. They, they do other mischief, but apparently mat night is a big thing. I'd love to do mat night, take all my other people's doormats around. You put it on your own door, and you're like, oh, how did it get here? No, no, but you just, not, it's not. like, I mean, maybe not that, but, like, you could just take them all and, like, put them in a pile and just leave them in the middle of, like, a street corner or something. And then people would have to, like, go and get theirs or something. Like, walk all the way over there. I don't know. Like, what are you going to do with all the mats? Um, Keep them? It seems like they switch them with other people's mats. Oh, or they don't switch, and they just give it to someone else. Let's see. ACR literally means Kowalski analysis. Alakua County resident. Okay. Okay. Where's where's Alakua? Why trending? Why is that? Maybe Everybody from Alakua going down County. In Alakua County. Demon guile noun refers to any female Homo sapien that is overly sexy and can't keep herself to one man. Who's saying that? I mean. Some of these aren't actual slang. They're just, like, people making... Words. Up. Yeah. But it's training. Yeah, okay. Gate night. Night before Halloween, when all the mischief goes down. I mean, Keep training would just eggs. mean that, like, people are, like, maybe, like, looking, like, view counts on the page. Yeah. So, like, you know, someone makes some shit up, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's great. Or even they're just looking at something. Flaming bags are straight up doo doo, the works. So there are just a whole bunch of different words that just mean the night before Halloween just fuck shit up. Fantastic. Another way to say fantastic, also a great to trick your friends into feeling really stupid after they don't get it for five minutes. Nope. This is just stupid. Nope, you're just pronouncing it wrong. Yeah. yeah. And number 1900. Yeah. Regina. Regina George, a term to describe your best girlfriend who eventually becomes your best enemy because she may have seemed like your, we gotta click it, Long. because she may have seemed like your typical selfish backstabbing slut faced hoe bag, but in reality, she was so much more than that. Coined from the ever popular and accurate movie Mean Girls. Example, dude. Why is Gina acting like Sharon's ex? I thought they were best friends forever. Oh, she was a Regina George. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> they would just use the insults, like the backstabbing, slip-faced hoe bag, instead of calling her Regina, Regina George. George. I mean, I guess people who've seen Mean Girls would like get the reference, but yeah. like, it's going out of your way. Go with. To go with someone is to snog someone. Isn't snogging uh, making out or whatever? Yeah, it's yeah. like British slang. <laughs> Bills Mafia, a group of super fans for the sports team Buffalo Bills of the NFL, most known for jumping on tables. <laughs> you just see a bunch of niggas on table go, whoa! This is like, ah, this is nothing Bills Mafia. Where the bills go on the tables, football game. Duck boats. In cases of rape incidents. <laughs> vehicles which takes Boston sports teams on a parade thought the city after winning a championship. They meant to say through the city. No, no, no. Thought the, the city. The city. <laughs> Has Thought like developed that... <laughs> a brain and it's like thinking through how Boston sports teams get around. Thinking through parade <laughs> in parades through the city. Ye. Another term for yeah or yes. That just sounds medieval. <laughs> well, no, ye and medieval would be like uh. Well, I mean they don't actually say ye. 
They have a fancy Y looking character, it just means TH, because you know, English doesn't have a TH character. Mm -hmm. It's all the ye old, or just the old. Kowalski analysis isn't defines you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, the Kowalski analysis. Nifok. Naked in front of computer. <laughs> hey, yo, you want to Skype? Not right now. Nifok. <laughs> <laughs> then Devil's Night. So Devil's Night legitimately got defined recently. Devil's Night. October 30th, a Detroit area tradition originally centered around pranks like egging windows and cars and destroying property. I got to read Devil's Night, the OG. Is it the OG? I don't know. That's a, everyone else's definitions refer to it, which makes it seem like it came first. Like egging windows and cars, destroying property or TP and houses. In the mid-1970s, these were relatively harmless, but annoying acts were mostly replaced by widespread arson, Peaking in the 1980s, when up to 800 fires would be reported in a single night. More recently, the city has organized so-called Angels Nights, where volunteers patrol neighborhoods to prevent and report crimes. The effort has been somewhat effective and is taken so seriously that news stations almost never use the original term anymore in an attempt to show support for the volunteers. You might want to stay in. It's this Devil's this night, entry actually. is from 2005, so you know it's legit. Because it's like 13 years old. Dude, that's very interesting. The whole day, just became arson night. Day before Halloween, all the houses get burned down. 800 fires. New York's burning. We're just going to commit arson. <laughs> do, 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 do. At least all these other things that refer to Devil's Night aren't as bad. Yeah, they're just like Hard. watered down. Oh, we're still in the mess. We're switching the mess. Probably a better switch than that. Burn down your house. <laughs> it's like an actual prank, bro, as opposed yeah. to like person. Demon girl. The type of girl some half angel creatures, nerds, dorks, sickos, metalheads would kill to find. She is best described as a complete psychopath, has more than five piercings and or tattoos, often has a take charge attitude or a defensive submissive one, and more than one personality disorder. Several attempted suicides, a fetish for knives and other edge weapons, and a criminal record longer than one's forearm, assault and or possession among the charges. They also usually know how to shoot a gun better than most men. Although a woman like this is usually avoided and referred to as evil bitch, the difference between a demon girl and an evil bitch is that the demon girl actually has a soft, emotional, and loyal center beneath her extremely defensive slash offensive exterior. So it's just like an intense tsundere or something. Yeah. Anime trope. Uh, which she only shows to the one or whatever she considers the next best thing after having an actual rough life. It's like an amalgamation of a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, it's from 2008, currently trending. If a guy finds a demon girl, it is advised that he either run away or get ready for a relationship comparable to pulling a bus across London Bridge with your teeth. And if he pulls through, he'll I, most I guess likely... it's written by like a British person. <laughs> Invoking London Bridge. <laughs> And buses. <laughs> He'll most likely end up with a woman worth marrying. Either that or on the five o'clock news as the latest murder victim. Either way, it's a hell of a gamble. Off to find a demon girl. About, um, gamble, like economics, uh, which is weird. That's, that's an interesting segue. Well, gambling. <laughs> demon girl, gamble well, economics. Well, it's the economics like, of gambling. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. East Coeta. The act of two dudes tongue fucking each other's assholes for beers, particularly four. <laughs> four. We have the specific <laughs> amount of beers. East Coeta, your asshole for those Is four beers. Is there a beers. West Coeta? Oh, West. West like Coeta. Earn the donut for five beers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then like what north and south are like beers number two and three. Like, <laughs> Just like, they're less beers. Wasn't it two dudes? What do you mean? The act of yeah, two, dudes yes, two dudes each other yeah. for four beers. Yeah. Where do the four beers come from? <laughs> 
I yeah. don't know. There's like a third individual who's like, like, I'll give you four beers. Uh, uh, yeah, you yeah the tongue's in there. And that's four beers. That's four. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like the referee. Yeah, he's gonna judge. He's like, all right, you earned the four beers. Fuck. Uh, okay. For mm. beer, like. So now. How do you? How do you fuck have... people for for beers? But like, like, do you make an account? Yes. Why? The act of two dudes. This <laughs> 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 donut. Is that, I thought burning each other down was like anal sex, right? Or is yeah. It, was, it, was it like oral anal sex? No. With two. But like West Coa would be more specific. <laughs> Particularly for why are you adding these chips? Just let them let them alone. <laughs> let them okay. alone. West Coast. Wouldn't that be like East? We already did East. <laughs> east East was the one we just read. Oh, oh, is that it? So, so West is the, the one you're leaving out? Yeah. I need to get the text down for to burn the donut. I don't know why to burn the donut has stuck out. It, it doesn't. <laughs> it's because they're not using lube or something. <laughs> like what? Oh, uh, yeah. Gage and homosexual animal activity. I mean, I guess that doesn't preclude using tongues for the anal activity. True. Weird. The act of two dudes to burn the donut for beers, particularly fun. Hmm. I guess it would be we, because it has to be two dudes. <sighs> We, we would want to, to, to earn those beer like, for five beers. For five beers. <laughs> You're not even like it's not even like a a good use of the sentence. Maybe I don't know. <gasps> You're just like putting the sentence. Uh, the sentence example is just the definition, definition. with the word. I don't know. Is that is that bad to use in a okay, sense? Bob. Bob. Anyone want these five beers? Why Bob? <laughs> uh, put the other guy being uh Fred. Fred. Yo, Billy. Bob's offering <laughs> five beers. And then Billy's like. Five beers. Five beers. <laughs> That's like more than four, but less than six. Bob. West Coetta. West Coetta. <laughs> you can explain. It's when we burn the donut. And then Fred Here. and Billy are like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Bitchin. Um, party City, the rise and fall and rise again. West Coetta brings up uh, Donald Trump as a black person. I don't know. It oh, no, nice, I think that's Kanye like West. Kanye yeah, yeah, kind of. do, you, do you see the thing that Kanye was posting on like, Twitter? Nope, because I don't look at Twitter or Kanye. It was uh, so Kanye was associating himself with a bunch of these like right wing political pundit guys mm -hmm. from like Turning Point USA. Mm -hmm. But I think because like the last couple days he like stopped. He's like, my eyes have been opened. I've been used. I'm just not gonna fuck around with politics anymore. 
I mean, that's just what you were saying on Twitter. Mitch Grossi um, is the sassy queen who don't give two shits if you hate him. He is perfection and can harmonize your stupidity <laughs> away. How long is Mitch Grossi? It's like two seconds. Oh, yeah, it's not that long. A beautiful and majestical being with the voice of a thousand angels. The amount of talent held with this person is mind-blowing. Isn't that like a Degrassi show? That, that one fifth show, tenor right? of Pentatronics, one half of Superfruit. Person yeah. one, who's Mitch Grassi? Me, eyes widen. I shall show you. I shall show you. Beauty over my dick. <laughs> my dick. My dick. Mitch Grassi. <laughs> Random now. Oh, wait, wait. Um, there was this political cartoon from like 1783. Gas up. To inflate somebody's ego via compliments, praise, or actions when the ego of a person is self inflated. Having too high an opinion of oneself when in actuality it is unwarranted. I could see gas up working. See, that actually seemed like a well thought out definition. It was this. Even though it's just inflating someone's ego. Uh, it was a political cartoon about the uh, Paris Peace Accords. The general piss or peace. <laughs> Roberto. A Roberto is simply an awesome person who everyone cannot help but it like. It seems like a bunch of the political cartoons from that time. There's always like someone getting pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> In like 18th century political cartoons, I guess. Or at least a number of them to be noticeable. <laughs> oh, sorry. 18th century cartoons. Why are you why are you typing it like that? In the because they okay. see what's on that screen. They, they do? Yeah. Oh. They're, they're able to see all the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. I thought maybe it was just like the, the tab for the dictionary. Roberto uh, is simply an awesome person who everyone cannot help but like. It is only a pleasure to meet a Roberto once in your life. So consider yourself lucky if you do. Robertos are well known for their sensibility and most of all, their exponentially increasing swagger. Enjoy every second you have with this bamf. So what's a BAMF? Badass motherfucker. Popularized by Dane Cook. Do, 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 do. Random. Let's keep it going. Hanahaki disease. A fictional, emphasis on fictional disease. Often used in fan fictions where the victim regurgitates and coughs up flower petals when they suffer from unrequited love. The illness can only be cured through surgical removal. However, any existing romantic feelings are also removed with the infection. What? And then the, the example is just like, it can't be applied in real life because it's fictional. So no examples what? for it, sorry. Some bullshit. Just mention like, like Hanada having just, like Hana You just made some shit up for your anime fan fiction. What? I'm going to try and find fan fiction based things. Oh, God. Oh, well, that, that pulled up just fan. Their tags exist for a reason. I guess I have to pick something from the drop down menu, though. What are you trying to find? Just words that seem to happen to do with fan fiction. Uh, I mean, you're just searching all these different fan fiction like, descriptors. Fan fiction scurvy. The terrible illness that a person, usually female, gets when they read fan fiction for a prolonged amount of time that contains no lemons, aka smut <laughs> or sex. No lemons. <laughs> <laughs> so I was reading this fic, and when I was wondering uh, when there would be a lemon. No but then I noticed that it was rated, rated T. T. I got no lemon. serious fan fiction scary now. Can you link me to some good lemons? Lemons. Oh, you, you An anime, lemons manga, yeah. or anime, manga based fan work that depicts sexual acts, often shortened to lemons. It's just whenever they have like sex in anime fanfics. For some reason, it's called lemons. I'm not sure why. Are, are they like? 
sour? I don't know. Uh, from the ones that I've seen, sometimes <laughs> it could be like I don't know because it'll be like sometimes they'll be like it's like a regular fan fiction and thing, and then they'll be like, oh, special disclaimer, lemon section, <laughs> and then they start having sex, whatever. So that they get lemon yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, fan fiction barrier. How far you need to be in a book, series, etc., before you can safely and seriously start reading fan fiction? Huh. The only fan fictions I've ever read were a few Naruto ones. And it's really kind of interesting because they're all kind of written a few years ago, like before you like know who like the final villain, like before like Kagura or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kagi, whatever. And even before, like, revived, like, Ten Tails, Chinchurigis. So they're all, like, usually at the top or something. If it's, like, in the future, they'll be, like, the fourth ninja will happen, and Naruto beat Madara or Obito, and, like, that's it. And then we go on to whatever. <laughs> it's, like, what about all that shit? No, we don't want to get into it because we don't actually know what happens at the end in the war. We just assume that he wins. Mark Marish. An adorable, hot, steamy fan fiction of Markiplier and Yami Maj. I don't know who, I don't know who that is either. Squirrel Kinglish. So it's just like particular fanfics? Like authors? Why would you put that in like urban fiction? Like why, yeah. Is that yeah, it's just like self-promotion. <laughs> hey, hit shit. it up. Look at the tags. You got Squirrel King hashtag. Squirrel Kinglish. The writing style of fanfics writer Squirrel King, who wrote the popular fanfic half-life, full-life consequences, which is known for having horrible grammar and obvious misspellings. So it's a shit on. I, I, I guess. That makes more sense than... A self-promoting thing. It's like, fuck this guy's grammar. He's got nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Fan friction with a K. A fan fiction about or based around semi-classic Sonic fan. What? I feel yeah. like that had a it had the potential to be like something better. Is it even a call? It's just like it's something about this author. What? Yeah. It's not even good. It almost sounds like that's the title of it. A fan fiction about, about or, or based, based around. Is semi classic sign like a wait, that that's that one screaming kid, right? Are it, people writing fanfics about it? It's not about um What's his face? Who has the documentary? I can't remember his name. No, it's like the. But it's not the, the Sonic shoe thing. Red haired, not red. -haired, the red -haired, here, maybe if I just uh, Google his name, because I think I know what they're talking about. Okay, right, hit it up, dude. The world would like to know. Uh, this kid. Remember that screaming kid? Or that's the guy. That's, People are that's writing. That's the guy they're referring to. People are writing fan fiction about him. I guess, like. Uh, I wonder if I scroll down, they'll Sammy just hit the fanfic. Classic Sonic fan. Because there's like Know Your Meme on Reddit. So if we just keep going through Google. Okay, so. Oh, oh, I think I get it. Because the friction, because he always says like frick in the video, right? He's just, instead of like fuck, he's just like frick. So that's why, that's why it's called that. The bright summer sun leaked through the window, no. cascading over the carpet. No. His yellow hand. Wait, what's this? Lemons ahead. Sammy Classic Sonic. It's Man romance. Has always tag. been a huge fan of Sonic oh, yeah. the Hedgehog. Yeah, no. But things no. take a turn for the dirty no. as he develops a sexual attraction oh, to the yeah. blue fellow, rated M for smut. See, the, this is what. Oh, it's not very long. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's cascading over just, the carpet. You just have the lemon, and then and that's it. it. Yeah, it's over the carpet and leaving its yellow handprints on Sammy's legs. They were crossed, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> How did this go from Urban Dictionary to pretty <laughs> some shitty thing? And he was perched in oh, front God, of the no, television, no. a sleek GameCube controller in hand. Like, Fuck the GameCube. <laughs> his thumbs fumbled. With the buttons and keys, oh, yeah. and his eyes were fixated on the screen, <laughs> gracing the television screen with Sonic the Hedgehog. I feel I, I don't know dashing how about serious as fast this is. as can be. Because I'm just trolling by making this. Oh, Sonic! Or is it like 
Sammy thought to himself, <laughs> how you move with such grace and style. Your blue spines following closely behind. I feel like like in Rule 34, how there's like porn for everything. I feel like there's like a corollary you could use. There's like a porn fanfic, fanfic for everything. everything. <laughs> Before he knew it, Sonic was running directly ahead, back facing Sammy, thus giving the teenage... In the beauty of Sonic's movements, mm -hmm. Sammy allowed his eyes to slide over Sonic's body, stopping at his behind, tucked neatly under like his single his spine tail. The way his legs flowed underneath is the way his bright red shoes tapped the pavement with each footstep. It was also, it was all too much for Sammy. And soon, the 15-year-old found himself experiencing a feeling almost foreign something he'd never felt before. Sammy's body tensed up. Goosebumps washed over his lightly tanned skin, pocking themselves all over his scrawny frame. And somewhere deep in the bowels of his high-waisted jeans, he felt a twitch. The bowels of his jeans. What an what a odd descriptor. Sammy allowed his gaze to break yeah, yeah, away. Yeah, from yeah, the... It's like when you, you when you go into the jeans, but like leg pant first. <laughs> up there, and then you get into the ass with the bowels. <laughs> that sounds like it should be an early dictionary entry. Jeans bowels. Like what? Sammy allowed. So why are you gaze... still reading this? <laughs> Sammy allowed his gaze to because I want to know if Sonic comes out in the game or does he like fuck the game I, disc or like how to, like is it an isekai? Does he like go in the game? <laughs> from the video game upon his screen and panned his vision down to the crotch of his jeans. Shut Jen, stop! <laughs> how old is this kid? Like five? 15? They say fifteen in the thing. They don't even age him up to like a good age. <laughs> no, well, no matter how it game. goes, it's wrong. It's like <laughs> how just... young he... Sammy began. It's really you. A tear formed in his eye. He had imagined this day, but never thought it would come. <laughs> thought he would come? <laughs> Um, that's a solid uh, last wait, line. Wait, so it looks like Sonic comes out the TV. Oh, yeah, he tugs Sonic's hand, and Sonic comes out of the television. So don't worry. I, I don't think he fucks Sonic. I think he's age 19 right now. But when? How old was he when the... Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> 2013. It has 34 reviews. It might be more interesting to read a review of it. Sammy then slipped his knob right through Sonic's oh, bum God, hole. What? That's a review. Fuck, no, no, what the fuck? No, no, <laughs> fuck, no, no. No, 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 no. Fuck, no, 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 no. So it's only 20... Has her friggin' purse. Gosh, damn it! <laughs> what's wrong with you? This fucking disgusting. You guys are saying you want more. You know what's in here? He's gonna be fourteen when he put the video up. Oh, baby said needs more sex. Uh, frick said this is undescribable. Guess said what the frick. <laughs> It makes sense. Gosh. Well, look, this is him now. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled program. Oh, it says he's... He said he was born in 98. Oh, oh are you my age? But younger? Yeah, 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 okay, so, so this, this is right here. Uh, his video on his audience saying he was 15 and not 12, 11, 10 has proven he was 16, except his voice was high pitched. Mm -hmm. So he just had a high pitch, he's just like a short guy. So people think he's like nine or something. 
Let's see. Tiana Luthien, Meist Geek in Tolkien Geek, who is found on Mist Community. Mist. Oh, it's just Mist. And Hanneth Unum, self-styled writer of original fiction. Yeah, it's just like freaking like author pages. Yo, let me have my own entry on like Wikipedia or some shit. But I can't do that, so I gotta put it on Urban Dictionary. Fuck fiction. It would make more sense for all these people to have, I mean, they probably do on like uh, TV tropes. Because they have like fanfic mm-hmm. listed sometimes, depending. Fan fiction. When someone writes a fan I mean, cause sorry, the, not fan. The whole fiction. website started as like a fanfic forum, I think. TV tropes? Yeah. It was like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer website or something. Yeah, it evolved from that. Uh, let's see. Fuck fiction. When someone writes a fan fiction which is intentionally bad for comedy purposes. Yeah. Truce. The romantic pairing of Smallville's Chloe Sullivan and Batman's Bruce Wayne in fan fiction. I, I've never watched Smallville. Smallville. Non-canon narrative. Synonym for fan fiction, but doesn't sound as dumb. Bum, bum, bum. Do, do, where where do, can I find do, like do, do, the about page? Wuss. Invented in the summer of 1964 by an eight year old San Diego elementary school boy named Don, who needed to find a name that none of his bullies would recognize. The popular insult names at the time were Wimpy from the Popeye the Sailor cartoon and Pussy from the Obvious. Wussy and Wuss kept them confused for a short time and gave the abused a short victory over the bullies. In the beginning, Dawn actually had them convinced it was a compliment. By 1972, it had become a real common word at Claremont High School and was later memorialized in the 1982 movie Fast Times at Richmond High that characterized those people at Claremont High. Example, you're a wuss. Uh, I'm not sure that's like a real origin for the word, but that was an interesting definition to read nonetheless. Represent. Yeah, like to go and like be right a good here, example to the others of your group or as in a, your position. Buffy the Vampire Slayer thing. They're like, oh, we can just do tropes for like everyone else. Isa, like like you dig a Jar Jar Binks, short for it's a. It was commonly used as slang before the famous Twenty One Savage interview where he mentioned his knife tattoo. Interviewer, what does the cross on your forehead signify? 21 Savage eats a knife. Let's see. Random word. Random. Mood. Used to express that something is relatable. Similar to same, but mood became more common around 2016. If something is especially relatable, one might say big mood. This implies that your whole being is one in the same with whatever you're commenting on. I get it, because it's like it matches your mood. Uh, The 2017 equivalent of mood equals self-care and positive visualization. So self-care is putting absurd amounts of Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti. Okay, so it says here, uh, TV tropes began with a specific focus on Buffy based on a 2004 thread on the fan site Buffistas.org. Before branching out to all TV and eventually all of everything. Visualization. To visualize, to have the ability to visualize a concept, to visually explain a thought defined. That doesn't need to be put in urban dictionary. Self-care is putting too much Parmesan in your spaghetti and self-care. Caption on photo set of Keanu Reeves looking mad. Looking mad existential. Big mood. Hitting that rando button. Fuck. I need a pronunciation. Uh, Sarange is Korean for I love you. That's just Korean. <laughs> urban di- Korean urban diction. <laughs> Not even urban. Who can say? Sarange. Sonia? Sonia, the most beautiful girl ever. Become her best friend and get to know her amazing personality. It's just like, yeah. like I like this girl named Sonia. Sonia and I make an entry about her back in like 2015. 
2012. Oh, okay. She <laughs> she is very sweet and the most comfortable person to talk to. If you're lucky, she'll eventually like you. There are a lot that are just people's names. Homie Hopper, a girl or guy that hops, hooks up, or has sex with from one person to another, where the people they choose to hook up with are within the same group of friends. Homies. Stream. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that notification bell so you be notified whenever we do these live streams. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, one and only, here with Logging Out. Peace.